What do I do? Okay, let's see. Get your little things over here. Hello, hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. It's probably been so long that you forgot my name. I'm Samira. So it's been a long time, but it's for a good reason. I had a baby. <laughs> Bruh. Yeah. So I'm back. I said I was going to give myself, you know, two month maternity leave. <laughs> Even though I'm a stay at home mom. We get maternity leave. Hold on. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm getting over a cold. So I am super duper stuffy. Like. <sighs> Get into this head wrap though. Okay, I did good. This is cute. Y'all already know my head wrap from It's a Wrap. Don't even play. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. So I made this backdrop for Callie's birthday. I know y'all saw the first backdrop that I made for her first birthday. So it's already her second birthday. <laughs> Excuse me while I go cry. But yeah, it's already her second birthday. And she's gonna have her little shindig, a little small shindig. Y'all know the Rona won't let her be great either, but I cannot let another year go by without having my baby a little, you know, a little some some. So the theme is like rainbows and flowers and colorfulness. So I made this cute little backdrop and here we go. Okay, so I'm just starting out by cutting my board down to the length I want it to be. I ended up having to flip it over and cut it on both sides to get it all the way through. And then I'm drawing a roughly shaped rainbow. Um, as you can see, it's not all that great. And then I got my little cloud shape at the bottom. So now I have all these flowers. I got all these flowers from Dollar Tree. Um, ooh, I can, really can't even say how many you're gonna need. Just get a lot, a lot. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm just laying them out and kind of getting a feel for where everything is gonna go. And Kelly is in my way, of course. So we're just laying them out, getting a feel for how it's gonna look, kind of mixing and matching. Don't want too many of the same flower next to each other. Make sure that you get a variety of different flowers, or if you want them all the same, I mean that's fine too. Do you? You know, whatever. There go Kelly. She back in my way. Get on. This is how we're looking so far. I think it's cute. Few moments later. Yeah, not even five minutes later, Callie knocked all those flowers everywhere. But that's okay, I did it again. So now I am taking my box cutter. I'm putting two little slits into my board. Don't put it all the way through. And then you're just gonna put some hot glue on the back of your flower and just stick it into those little slits that you made and it's gonna stay. And there you go. And you're just gonna do that to all your flowers get them all on there you're probably gonna have to move some flowers around to get a, get them out of your way to put them all down on your board All right, we got all our flowers on. It's looking good. So I actually skipped over putting down those white flowers because I'm going to take them off because I didn't really like how they looked once I got all the tool on it. It looks good now, but you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. So just ignore that part. So now I'm taking my twine and my tool and I'm folding my tool in half to see like what length I need it to be. And so I guess it probably came out to maybe like six inches or so, but whatever length you want it to be, just base it off that. And then you're gonna take your twine and measure how much you need for that with a little bit extra hanging off cause you're gonna need to tie it on the back of your board. So 
do that and then we're gonna cut us a bunch of tool up y'all do not do what I did I ran out of tool so many times so I'm gonna leave a link down below to um, like a super big roller tool that I found on Amazon that you can get instead of going back to the store a hundred times so yeah um, now I'm just tying my tool onto my little twine tied in a knot like this fold it over pull it through you know that's it okay boom Okay, so I'm just adding all my tool strips to my board and then I'm just getting a gauge of where I want this to kind of hang off the board a little bit. And I'm taking my box cutter and I'm gonna put a little notch in. This time put it all the way through cause you're gonna pull your twine through. You can use a pair of scissors if you're bold and dangerous like me or you can be you know, normal and use a pencil or something to stick your twine through to the other side and then just tie a knot and make sure it's kind of, um, tight so that it doesn't like have a little hang to it you want to make sure it's good and tight on both sides and I also realized that putting my twine in first and tying the knot is a lot easier so I'm gonna go ahead and put in all of my pieces of twine kind of the same distance apart and then go back and add my tool to them And per usual, Callie's in my way again. All right, we got all that added, and it it's looking cute. Uh, okay, okay, I'm feeling this. So, we're gonna do the top, get that over with. Okay, so this is the part where I realized I didn't have nearly enough tool, okay? So don't judge me. Do not judge me. So I went back to the store like a hundred times and kept getting more tool. But like I said, I'm going to leave a link down below to the really big rolls of tool that you can order. And I would recommend ordering two of them. And outfit change, baby. Yes. What did she do? What are you trying to get? Who oh, nice. All right, now let's finish up. Okay, so here I'm just putting a couple notches in to the top, probably about two or three inches apart, so that I'm able to tie my wooden dowel to the top of it. So you're gonna cut a couple of pieces of twine also about four inches each. And then we're gonna attach our tool to our dowel and make sure they're facing the same direction, if that makes any sense. So now we're gonna attach our dowel to the board. You're just gonna take your twine and wrap it around and then tie you a nice little knot. Make sure it's nice and tight and secure. Okay, so now I am just attaching my string that is gonna hang from. So I'm just getting the gauge, measuring it to see how much I need. And I'm gonna double it up because I want it to be kind of strong. You don't want it to be too weak. And Kelly is making all this noise. <laughs> so I'm wrapping it around and I'm just tying it a knot on each end of the dowel here as well. Boom, there you go. Outfit change. Okay. <laughs> 
so this is what we're looking like so far. We need to be filled in some more because your girl ran out of tool again. But overall, it's looking so cute. All right, so I got it all filled in. And what I'm doing now is undoing this top row because I feel like it needs to be pulled up some. And I'm just going to make a new notch and pull it back through and lift it up a little bit. I feel like some other areas need to be lifted up too. So I'm just taking my hot glue gun and I'm putting a little bit on the board and just lifting up um, the row and placing it there. I hope that makes sense, but you can kind of see what I'm doing here. Just, just work with me, okay? If that doesn't make any sense, leave a comment and I'll try to explain what I just did. So if you see these little outside corners where my white is still showing, I am taking an extra piece of tool, tying a knot in it, and then putting a little piece of glue on the back and just pressing it there so that it fills that little area in as well. So now I'm just going in and filling in um, some of those blank spots and filling in where there may need to be more flowers and just trying to make it look a little bit better than what it's already looking like. And next, I'm gonna redo that little white flower part. So basically, I'm just replacing them with these little tool puff balls. Okay, okay. <laughs> so you're just gonna take some white tool. How do I explain this? Okay, fold it over a bunch of times, kind of like an accordion style type of thing. Just watch what I'm doing here, okay? <laughs> and then you're gonna take a little piece of twine, tie it in a knot in the middle, and then fluff it out and you'll have you a little tool ball. So then you'll take your little puff ball, put a little piece of hot glue on part of the twine and push it up on your board and then fluff it out. And this will give us a more fluffy cloud section. I thought it would look better. I don't know, those, those white flowers were just looking too flat for me, okay? I want clouds, okay? I need it to be nice and fluffy. All right, last step, last step. So I'm just going through now and I'm just trimming up my tool. So before we had all this extra tool hanging down over our flowers, around the sides and all that, just gonna trim it up. There you have it. I love it, it's so cute, oh my God. <laughs> it's so cute, oh my God. I can't even. It's so cute. I feel like you can do this all kinds of ways. You can take the rainbow out. You can put different colors. You can put stripes. You can put, you know, give yourself a little ombre effect. Whatever color tool you want to use. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is so versatile. Oh, my God. <laughs> I did that. I did. Okay, let me know down below if you like it. If you like this video, like this video, okay? Hit the like button. Comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank y'all for watching. See y'all next time.